Okay, and we're back for the, um, another episode of the emulator setup. It's something I'm knowledgeable on, and I like, uh, doing videos on it. It's very easy for me to set it up, so I'm gonna, you know, do more. Um, as you can see here, people have been saying that Citra is released on, like, Android and stuff. Those aren't real. Um, generally don't trust things you don't get from the actual website of Citra. People have been saying that, like, oh, they're going to release it for Android or something. They're not. This is this is proof. They put it right here to say you cannot do it on anything except for, I think, Windows and Linux. Uh, may maybe you can do it for Mac. I don't know. Generally, Windows is the way to go on these. Um, if you're going to, I'd recommend going manual download, and I would go for um, Canary. Because Canary is like up to date and like has new features, but it's not like completely new. Um, I would extract it, but um, I already have a version. Um, a little older, but my version is pretty good. I can run games very well. Um, another thing I want to uh, show here is the Discord um, uh, and the FAQ here. The FAQ will answer a lot of questions, so if you have any questions, um, uh, look here first, but if this doesn't answer your question, um, you know, I can try to help you. Um, uh, you can also look at, like, uh, the blog. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, generally, I, I find their Discord very useful because uh, they actually answer your questions if you ask them. Uh, you're going to need 7-Zip, so, of course, if you don't have 7-Zip, get it. 7-Zip is used in a lot of things. I use it for college. I use it, I used it in high school. I just use it. There's a lot of things you download in Zip because it's easy to send things via Zip. I've sent my friend that Zip. You can you can Zip everything, and that's why it's so useful. Get Seven Zip. This is this is not sponsored. I wish it was. Anyways, that, that's a old joke, by the way. Uh, Citra. So um, when you extract it, there's going to be two versions, I th or two or three. Uh, the ones you want is CitraQT.exe. You don't want Citra. Uh, I don't know the other ones, but generally CitraQT is the way to go. Um, first thing I'll do is uh, make a game directory if you already have the games. So you just click this uh, button and it'll create a directory like this one. Mine's my download folder, my emulator and game folder, and my 3DS games folder. Or you can find them very easily. It's, it's very nice. You can easily set it up. It's, it's actually very good. Um, now we'll go through some settings. This is very easy to set up. The only thing you need sometimes for certain games, you need the shared fonts from a 3DS and you need like a system folder. Now I don't know if you need a system folder anymore, but you do need shared font for some, for some games. And I think you can find it online. I don't think it's like piracy to get shared fonts. They're just Nintendo shared fonts. I don't know. I don't know about that one, but you can. Um, so for general, uh, confirm exit while emulation is running is always a good thing to keep on. I set auto select for my region. This doesn't really matter. Set it to your region if you want to. Uh, this will just let you play games from other regions if you choose to. If you want to play a game from Japan, that's like a Japanese. So I'll show you. But if you have a game that's Japanese in its origin, you can play that. Um, uh, this, uh, you don't need this. Uh, username thing, so you don't you don't have to worry about that. Um, I, you can share anonymous usage data if you want. It is anonymous. They just um, they basically just see how it's performing, so they can work on it. You you don't have to have that on if you don't want to. If you want to be private, uh, it is private though. Um, show current game in your Discord status. That's just you know if if you want people to know what you're playing on Discord. If you if you're a big Discord guy or, or girl, you you can do that. Um, this is debug stuff, don't worry about it, unless you are debugging, in which case, you know, why are you watching this video? Um, English. Yes. Unless you don't speak English, in which case, you got a lot of options. Two Chinese options, you know? I don't know why there's two. Anyways, most important thing here, uh, UI, immediately. It's gonna be set to this. This is bright. This is awful. You don't want this. Immediately. General UI, go down to theme, set it to dark or colorful dark. This is gonna save your eyeballs, okay? Trust me, I've 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 learned the hard way. 
just just don't deal with it. Anyway, system. I uh, set your username here. Your birthday. I don't know if you need to set your birthday. That's not my birthday. That's just what what it was auto set to. Don't know what play coins are. You can set your country. You can set your system clock, or you can set your clock. I, I recommend system clock. <laughs> um, sound output. Uh, surround or stereo would work. Mono. I don't know what uses mono anymore. If you're playing through a Game Boy Color, maybe. Uh, generally, everything uses stereo now. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend HLE Fast for this one. Um, LLE is not really good in general. This is just how the um, audio is like rendered. Um, this this is just the most accurate for me. Like LLE is more taxing, I believe. So maybe if you have a 20 2080 Ti, you know, this it's really easy to run. You don't need you don't need that. I'm, I promise. I'd set this to auto. This just chooses what's best for the situation. Um, don't have it on null unless you don't want any audio. Um, you can set your volume like this. I had mine semi low because it gets loud. And you can choose audio devices. I like 15 audio devices. Uh, microphone, so you can set up an actual microphone for games that use microphones in the 3DS. I don't know any of those. I don't. I don't use them. You can choose your own microphone. You can also set it to static noise, so like it'll just constantly be putting through a noise in games that are like don't don't care what it is, you know. Uh, but again, I don't do those. And if you have a webcam or something, you can set up a camera for the 3DS camera. Uh, this is very cool. We'll talk about this later. Uh, basically, it lets you speed up your gameplay a lot. Um, enable hardware render always needs to be on. This is always keep this on. I think it's on by default. Generally, you want all these on. Don't turn any of these off. The only one I'd recommend is this one. If you're having really bad, like, it, like you have to have a fairly decent computer to run this, I'd say. Like my laptop, it's got like four gigabytes of RAM, a really bad CPU, and a really bad GPU. It, it can't really run this. But if you have something better than like a laptop from 2015, I think you can run this with, with ease. And I'm not talking about a good laptop, not a gaming laptop, like a like like a bad laptop <laughs> but yeah you can all these set, settings should be on and I'm pretty sure they are enabled by default um, this resolution um, native is the native obviously 400 by 240 is incredibly low resolution um, so I highly recommend not um, not setting it to that uh, the minimum you probably want to do is this two times this is 480p kinda it's not exactly the same, but it's basically 480p, um, which is very low, but it's better than 240. Um, and I've set it to auto window size to start with because that's going to make it the resolution of your monitor. So if you have a 1600 by 900 monitor like I used to have, it would set it, it directly to what your monitor is resolution wise. Now your resolution can go above what your monitor is. I have a 1080p monitor right now, and I have mine set to 1440p because like it makes it just higher quality you can go all the way up to that which is 8k i think um i couldn't run it but i'm sure someone can it doesn't really change much after like 4k i would say so that's up to you though uh skirt stereoscopic 3d doesn't really work for me i've tried it so if you get it to work that's good for you um input uh these are your hotkeys or this this is actually for your controller and then there's a the hotkeys um this just works um very easily you can this is super easy set up you just use your controller uh there's this uh motion can be set um you can choose this on your own so if you wanted to be set on your keyboard somewhere it's just like a hold right click and you move your mouse and it'll be like motion you're moving to 3ds or something uh then of course you want me a later window here and it's basically if you click on the lower window or the bottom screen, it it is registered as a mouse click. Because as you know, the um, the 3DS has multiple screens, and one of them is a touch screen. If you didn't know that, that's okay. Um, for view, uh, single window mode is generally the way to go. Uh, it should auto full screen, but if not, you can set it to full screen. I believe that's this though, so don't worry about that. <laughs> This doesn't have to be full screen. Uh, I'd recommend large screen because it makes one screen very large and then the other one very small. 
And what you can do is you can press F9, which is that swap screens button, swap screens right here, and that'll make it to where your screens like switch, so you can see both screens, you know, as you want. But you want one large, because generally there's a one screen that stuff is going on. If not, and there's a game, you can do this side by side, which will make them both the same size. But you know, that's up to you. Um, display dock widget headers. This is. I don't know what that does. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I know the filter bar is going to add this filter down here. Uh, if you have games, if you have a lot of games, you can filter your games out. I do like the status bar. This is down here. This is for testing uh, FPS and stuff. Generally very useful. Um, okay, and here's the multiplayer. This is actually very useful. Um, you can browse uh, lobbies. So if you go to games I own, I have the Pokemon games. Or I have a Pokemon game. Um, you can trade. Um, some of them are, are locked. Generally, they are. You can create your own room as long as someone's port forwarding. They can host a server. So if you know how to port forward or you're looking up, you can literally play uh, through a game with your friends. So if, if you both have Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, and you want to trade with each other or play with each other, battle each other, you, you can do a lot of stuff. Um, it's it's very cool. If if you have friends that like Pokemon, this is something that's very cool. You can say you're going to be private and put a password. Like these guys, you can tell it's private or it records a password because it has this um, lock on the side. Uh, this guy's server, sadly, uh, he, does, he doesn't have it port forwarded. You can put a server up without port forwarding. So I couldn't join this guy's server um, if I wanted to because uh, he didn't port forward it. Um, this records your screen, I think. I haven't tried it. Wouldn't recommend it. There's a lot better recording software in general. I'd recommend OBS. I'm using OBS. OBS is great. Um, yeah, so that's all that. Uh, you can load individual files by using this. Control O is the hotkey for that. Anyways, let's launch a game. Launch on the moon. Uh, since I haven't windowed mode, it's launched um, this window here. Sorry if this is loud. Sorry. It is loud. I can tell it's loud because I, it's loud to me. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Well, no. Anyways, if you, um, this way, this way you can test, the um, screens, so, you have plenty of time to test, you know, um, you can do it as you want, uh, if you press F11, it'll go full screen, I don't want to, because, well, I just don't want to, um, anyways, I can show you how this thing makes your resolutions a lot better, <laughs> so, here we are, this is Royal Avenue, I don't know, um, I'm gonna go to a bigger city. This this place doesn't have much going on, you see. That's not a, that's not a city. This is Heya Heya City. Uh, I am getting some lag. Uh, I'm not sure why, to be honest. Like I get a little bit of uh, frame stutter, which you can see in this frame. Uh, there's FPS and then there's like frame data, kind of. Uh, which I think means my CPU is kind of struggling, but I don't know. I can see there's flickering. Sometimes you can see like the black. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's fixed in newer versions. I'm just playing an old version because uh, I did stop playing this for quite a long time. Anyways, I do want to show. Uh, you can also test wire in games, so it's very useful. So if I go to graphics here, I'm going to set to native resolution, and we'll just see how bad the game looks. So this is native resolution. It's it's beautiful. It's it's bad. It's really bad. Um. It'd probably look good if I did auto. This is gonna set it to 1920 by 1080. Yeah, see, that looks good. Uh, and then you can also run above. Uh, you can see the flickering of the shadows right there in the background. Nothing I can change there. I was running six times native. There we go. That looks good. It doesn't give any frame or no lag or anything. Um, let's see. Uh, configure. And I was gonna do this. If you turn off limit speed percent. As you can see, this lets you move incredibly fast, and my game speed is at 385%, I'm getting 120 FPS. Now if you want to go super fast, you can go like this, you can go like this, and that actually gave me less performance. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter what I render in because uh, something's bottlenecking something here, but that that's for me to find out, not, not for you to find out. Uh, generally. 
you know, you can just move super fast. Uh, which is useful in this game because to level up Pokemon, you have to fight other Pokemon. Um, which is uh, pretty easy to do when you're going at uh, three times the speed of the game. Uh, but it's also kind of cheaty. I didn't do this for my, like, until I got to the post game, which I'm in now. Um, and I also want to show this. Professor Plaza here. So, this is a place you can go. Uh, all these people popping up would be other characters if you're on a server that's so up. So, I don't know if that's a server up. You can trade with people and you can battle. I went and I've done a trade on this. I don't specifically remember. No, yeah, I do. I traded for an um, Alolan uh, Grappler. I traded my. Uh, I also traded my. Um, tr traded for the Trevenant uh, to get my Trevenant involved, basically. So that was useful. Is you can get trade evolutions and stuff. There's a lot of mini games you can play, but you know that's just for this game. There's a lot of other games though. But yeah, if you join the server, you can do this all with your friends. It's very useful. A lot of flickering happening. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, there's also cheats. Not entirely sure how you do it. Haven't done it. Won't do it. I'm not, I'm not a fan of cheating games like these. And you can just leave. Um, yeah, all the all the online stuff that you can actually do in this game. So. That's nice from like, you know, a Game Boy Color emulator, and you're playing Pokemon Crystal. You know, you're gonna have a rough time trading, unless you have a friend or you have like two different games set up, which I've done before. But in this way, you can actually play with, you know, random people, as long as someone's port forwarding a server. Uh, be careful when you're port forwarding, though, I'm pretty sure people can get your IP address that way, so I, I'd be careful when you're doing it. Um, I, I don't set my router to port forward ever. Uh, but yeah, this is a very easy uh, emulator setup. Again, not much to do, and overall, it's pretty uh pretty uh, good. Um, make sure you check the help if you need help. Again, uh, most of the time they want you to go to the forums and stuff to ask questions. Generally, the Discord server is the way I go. Uh, if you're more of a forum guy or a girl, do it do it that way. Um, yeah, but if you have questions, ask the Discord. Um, you, you don't have to join. Again, you can go to their blog. Um, or not their blog, but their forums and ask questions. They also have blogs, updates, where they where they tell you all the updates, everything they're doing. It's great. It's an open source emulator. Um, it's free. There's just yeah, there's a lot of possibilities here. If you need help with anything, I can try to help you. Um, if, if they can't, or if you don't want to, you can ask me. Uh, I can't tell you everything. Um, also, if you're having issues with the game, go here to the compatibility. So if I go to Pokemon, which you have to get the E, which I don't have, um, and you can see other people's um, specs. Uh, they test with their own specs and they give you like a rating. So this guy had an i5 and an Intel HD Graphics 4000. Uh, not, not the best. And he had a bad performance in Pokemon Sun. And then this guy right here, it's a bad example. Look, there's a guy with a really good, can, can, or a really good setup. Uh, this guy's got a decent setup. No, he doesn't. Wait, he does have a clock going. Oh, here we go. Wait, this is the same guy. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, whatever. Uh, basically, you can see what other people are doing um, with their, um, like, how, how their specs are holding up. And you can compare yours to theirs. Uh, I believe there, I don't think you can check it past these recent ones. Um... But yeah, you, you should be able to find out pretty easily. Um, so if you're having issues with the game or you want to know if you can run a game before you rip it from your 3DS or from the cartridge, you can do that to save yourself some time if your computer can't run it. Generally, this is a pretty... It's not as bad as it used to be, uh, but if you have a fairly decent computer, this is a really good way to play 3DS games. Um, but yeah, thank you, thanks for watching. I'm open to answer any questions.